Parliament, meanwhile, says it will want to put behind it the violence that characterized Thursday's voting for speaking and forge ahead uh, with a more united front. In a statement issued Friday, Director of Public Affairs Kate Addo also denied claims some of its staff had wanted to compromise the election. Joseph Opoku Gakpo uh, joins me with more uh, via Zoom. Uh, Gakpo, what does the statement say about Parliament uniting? Or we'll try and bring up, uh, bring back Opoku Gakpo to tell us more on the statement coming from Parliament. Uh, Gakpo is back, I'm told. Uh, Gakpo, tell us more on this statement issued by Parliament. Oh, there's a lot. <laughs> so, Opoku Gakpo. The statement says Parliament wishes to acknowledge the event that characterized the innovation and that they, the par parliament would want to say that while most of the actions were regrettable, um, parliament is working in a more focused manner and unifying the membership to promote the best parliamentary practices and good governance. And then it goes on to say that um, looking at the situation at hand, going forward, parliament is assuring all citizens that they will be dedicated in assisting the speakership and getting the necessary work that needs to be done, done in the house. What does the statement say about claims uh, that a marshal attempted stuff in the ballot box? A large part of the statement is dedicated to that. The statement says that parliament is going to react to claims that one of his staff actually tried to stuff the ballot box with papers. <clears throat> uh, but that looking at the very nature of the voting system, that's impossible because only 275 MPs and that was the maximum number of ballot papers that could have gone in. And that parliament would like to put on record that the officer, who is the deputy marshal, was stationed at a particular spot in the chamber to protect the ballot box. And that as things actually went out of hand, uh, he reached for his taser, which was hanging behind his belt to use in protecting the ballot. And that uh, the, the, he, he picked the taser and even used it on one of the MPs to prevent a situation where the ballot box was being taken. And so, uh, the claim that there was the effort to start the ballot is out of place and that the marshal in parliament actually has staff whose duty is to maintain peace and order in the house and that mm -hmm. doing anything contrary will be at variance with their work and so parliament is completely denying that specific claim. Joseph Opokogapo with a statement issued by parliament after everything uh, that happened on the 9th of uh, 6th January. <laughs>